Now let's quickly understand how to customize the URL pattern of the filter in Spring Boot application, right? So to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the new filter. I'm going to call this filter actually what you know, my new filter. Okay, let it be like this. Now, obviously, we have to implement, you know, the filter, make sure that the filter actually belongs to what you know, javax.server package. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to override the method called do filter. So then in a simple system dot printl, I'm going to say what you know, the new filter is called. Okay, very simple. Now, what I'm going to do filter chain dot do filter, I'm going to pass what in servlet request, then servlet response. Then I'm going to annotate this filter class actually what you know component, right? So that is done. So what we have to do now, we have to configure the URL pattern for this particular filter. So I have to do that. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the new package. I'm going to create the package called uh, config. So inside the config, I'm going to create, you know, the class called my filter config, right? So that is a class. I'm going to annotate this class actually what you know, configuration because it's a configuration class. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the bean for filter registration. So let's see how to do that, you know. So I'm going to create the method public filter registration bean. So that actually takes what you know, the generic argument. I'm going to pass what you know, generic argument as what you know, my new filter. So I'm going to call this method actually what you know, register bean, right? So I just want to annotate this actually what you know bean because what exactly I'm trying to do I'm going to create the filter bean using what you know method right filter registration bean I'm going to pass what my new filter so I'm going to say registration bean equal to new filter registration bean okay so here I'm going to return the same registration bean before going to return I have to set you know few configurations so I have to do that registration bean dot set filter first of all you have to set the filter right so i'm going to set the filter as actually what you know my new filter so once that is done then registration bean dot add url pattern right in the url pattern i'm going to say this filter is applicable only for this specific url that's it right so it's a customer's right customer's url that's it so let me save this let me actually what you know go back to our main application let's run this let's see what's going to happen here we go. Our application actually what you know started successfully. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to clear this console. Let me actually go to what you know, the postman. I'm just simply going to request this particular URL, right? So it says what you know, application works. So now we know go back to what you know, this one. Now you can see what you know, only this, whatever filter we configured what you know, previous video, only that is actually what you know, executed, right? So now let me clear the console again let me go back to what you know this one i'm gonna call what you know customers now now let me trigger this one now i can get the list of customer if you go and see the console now you can see what you know along with the previous filter the new filter all, also what you know triggered but this filter will be triggered only when this particular url pattern actually what you know match